Hey again, it's Dusty Thunder, and I have another AITA story for you. This one is, am I the astronaut for causing a scene and leaving a free vacation over the way my daughter was being treated? So, like, if the dad from the last story had done the right thing, this would have been the subject of his story. But he didn't. My brother Nate and his wife Jen invited me and my daughter Maddie, 10, to go on vacation with them and their kids, Laura, 12, and Danny, 9. Nate and Jen are extremely well off. They both have high paying jobs and earn around 350k between them. Maddie and I are middle class. I own a small house and Maddie goes to a private school. Maddie has a good life, but it doesn't compare to her cousins. This kind of sounds like the Bluey family dynamic. That's an Uncle Stripe. My brother and Jen rented a house for us and paid for the rental, all of the food, and all of the activities. The only thing I paid for was gas when driving myself and Maddie to the house. I also have to say Nate and I don't get along very well, but I have a great relationship with Jen, mostly because of how they are with the kids. Nate tells the kids they don't have to be nice to anyone, never encourages them to share their toys, and doesn't discipline his kids. Jen is the opposite. She constantly tells the kids to share with her cousins and will punish them if they're being rude to the other kids or adults. Now to the vacation. They rented a three-bedroom house. Nate and Jen had the master bedroom. I had the second bedroom with a double bed, and all the kids were going to share a room with two bunk beds, four beds. The first night was pretty rough. The kids brought tons of toys but refused to let Maddie play with them. Jen came in and told them that before she left, she told them they'd have to share their toys so they either share or she takes them away. They were a little rude, but mostly fine the rest of the night. The second night, Jen went out to dinner with an old friend, and Nate and I were home with the kids. We were getting the kids ready for bed, and an argument broke out between the kids because Laura and Danny decided they don't want to share with Maddie and told her to sleep on the couch. I expected Nate to tell them that the bedroom was for all the kids, but he told Maddie that she either has to sleep with me or on the couch. Oh, no. Uncle Stripe, what are you doing? I asked if he was serious, and he said yes, and that his kids weren't comfortable sharing with Maddie, and since he paid for the house, he has a right to kick Maddie out of the room. I told Maddie to get her bag, and that if she doesn't have a bed, we're going home. Maybe an hour after we left, Jen came back and asked why Maddie and I left. I told her what happened, and she asked me to come back and promised that she'd take care of her husband and the kids because she wants her kids to have a good relationship with their cousins. I said no, and shortly after we got home, I got a call from my brother yelling at me for causing a scene, creating problems between him and his wife, and being ungrateful for a free vacation. He got our parents involved, and they're agreeing that it's a free vacation and I can't be picky. Am I the asshole for leaving with Maddie? What? Okay, 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 hold on. So, he was a pompous dick. No doubt about that. And is blaming you for making a scene? And the parents, the grandparents, them getting involved in saying that it's a free vacation and you can't be picky. So it's okay to just treat people like shit if you're giving them a free vacation. And if you're receiving a free vacation, then you have to expect to be treated like shit. And that's okay. And also, you have to watch your child be treated like shit and just be okay with it. Because you know what? She's being treated like shit for free. She's being treated like shit in a nicer environment for free. Hell no. What is wrong? Well, I know what's wrong with this dude, with Uncle Stripe here. Uncle Stripe isn't anything like that. This guy is, this guy's a pompous dick. And he's raising his kids to be pompous little dicks too. But it's the parents. The parents of the kicker in here were their parents. OP and his brother's parents backing the pompous dick up. That's the part of this that I don't get at all. Why would they do that? Why would they, knowing that their grandchild is being mistreated, be like, well, it is a free vacation. Gotta take the good with the bad. Hell no. Nothing is worth that. Nothing is letting your child be treated like that. Nothing is witnessing pompous shits in the making. Nothing. I agree with OP here 100%. Leave. Leave. It's not worth being around that and having to endure it period. And I'm sorry, Jen. I'm sorry. Jen seems like a sweetheart, like her head is in the right place, but she and her husband are just parenting completely different ways. And he is like, kids, you don't have to share. We're paying for everything. Money trumps all. You know what kind of people these kids are going to become. And so does Jen, which is why she's trying so hard to combat it, but she is never going to be successful so long as Nate is there fueling the fire. And I'm sorry, but Jen can't blame OP for leaving here. And I don't think she does, which is probably why there are problems with her marriage with Nate now. And it's totally OP's fault because he caused a scene. Whatever, dude. Everyone in this story knows that Nate caused the scene. 
Every single person in the story knows that. Even Nate knows that. Even the kids know it. He's just projecting onto OP here. OP, I think you got to stay out of this. That's where you're at now is you've been a tool for Jen to use to try to combat what her husband Nate is doing to her children. But you can't be a pawn in that anymore. And you can't let your child be mistreated as a pawn in that anymore. You can't. You just can't. It's a worthy cause, sure. But you've done your nickel. Time to back out and let them battle and figure it out on their own. They're probably going to end up divorced because this is an oil and water kind of mixture thing and parenting on complete opposite spectrums never really goes well. So just distance. Distance right now is the safest thing that you can do. Just don't let your child be mistreated ever. There's a difference between letting your child be mistreated and letting them learn to deal with difficult situations. I am all for letting them deal with difficult situations and learning about inequality and learning about, you know, not every opportunity is equal. We just had a video post about this the other day. Not everybody is going to have equal opportunities. Let kids learn what it's like to be disappointed. Let kids learn what it's like to want something that someone else has. But when you have an adult instructing his kids to be pompous assholes because of money, get the hell out of there. That is the situation where you have to protect your child and screw your parents for advocating for pompous dick Nate. Nope. Nay, nay, I say. Nay, nay.